So the kind of question I'm getting asked very commonly is when you've got the brackets here, right? Brackets are just shorthand. Mathematicians are notoriously lazy, right? So therefore, they're like, look, I don't want to have to write this whole thing over again. I want to square the whole thing, so you just put brackets around it, which means whatever that operation is, do it to the whole lot, okay? So in fact, this is shorthand, right? This is shorthand for, do the pronumerals first, sorry, do the coefficients first, and then the pronumerals, right? Get the order right. Negative eight, it's getting squared, right? So therefore you do negative eight times negative eight. What happens to those negatives? We cancel that, that's great. Eight by eight, that's 64, okay? Coefficient, out of the way, it's done. And then you move on to the printer. It's actually pretty straightforward because b times b, we already have shorthand for that. So it's b squared. And then you go home. It's really quite okay. <laughs> so <laughs> once you <laughs> provoke this video, okay? So you can see, like brackets are nothing dramatic, okay? Now let's just move on a little bit because I know I got so confused with this when I was doing this in the first place. When you're dealing with algebraic fractions, okay? So we get scared. They get given a new name, but the same rules operate, okay? Now before I go on, when you're doing the multiplication here, right, you're going to multiply numerators across and denominators. You can just multiply them across, just as if they're separate. I remember getting madly confused when I first met this, because my teacher would say to me, yeah, if you get given this, you do 1 times 1, that's on the top, then you do 2 times 3, and that's on the bottom. No big deal. And when I asked, well, then, why can't I do it for this? Like, why isn't that 2 over 5? They'd say, oh, well, because you can't do that. And I was like, but why? And, like, I was that kid, okay? Now, there's a reason why. It's a really easy reason. All of this stuff, it looks like there's one operation, but there's actually a whole lot of operations that we're just using shorthand for, right? For starters, these two ties are division. Do you agree with that? Right? There's division happening. And then in between every letter and every number, there's more multiplication happening. The important thing is, they're all multiplying and dividing. Like that's why we've kind of lumped them together. Multiplication, sorry, start again. Division is just multiplication in reverse, right? They're really the same operation, just looked at from different opposite ends. Right? So therefore, that's the reason why you can string these all together. Now you can see the problem here. This is not all multiplication and division, just all piled in a heap. There's a plus sign in the middle, and it kind of interrupts things, right? That's why you have to deal with this guy, deal with that guy, you've got to do all of them. Well, what would you do in this case? What do you need? You need something to be able to get into a common denominator. You need a common denominator, right? Because fractions are notoriously antisocial, so in order to get a common base on those, you get over six, right? So you go three over six, two over six, and now they can have it, okay? Whereas over here, it's fine. Like, you don't need to get them into the same base. The multiplying and dividing just fits together. Okay. Now just one tip, let's do this example together. Before you do any multiplying, do the dividing. That, that seems a bit counterintuitive because we hate dividing. It's, it's tricky. But it's actually advantageous here. Can anyone see why? Yeah, you can cross things off. You can make the numbers smaller. Like 8 times 15, you can do it, but it's hard. Would you not much prefer to do 8 times 5? It's just going to be easier, right? In the same way, you can get rid of some m's immediately and then that just makes it a lot simpler. What do we get left on the top? 8n eight, eight times, times 5 which is 40n. <laughs> okay we definitely didn't want to do 8 times 15 okay uh, and then what's left on the bottom it's just it's just the 9. Not complicated look at me using leaving all that space we didn't need it at all okay once you cancel the right stuff out it becomes quite trivial. Okay. Now here we remember that division is, well, what do we do before we turn it into a product? Yeah, we flip it upside down, okay? So this is in fact is equal to this, okay? So channel your inner Mr. Child, Mr. Wu is a child. Like why? Why do that? Seriously, why do we flip it upside down? So you can kind of like cross off the three and like the nine and make it easier and you can do 16 and 8. Good, okay, so the first thing is, like the reason I do this is because it's just easier on my brain. I can use all the stuff I already know about multiplication, namely, what did we just say, Sandra? Cross off that, and cross off that, and cross off that. That's great. But that doesn't answer the deeper question of why can I do that? Like, why am I allowed to just change operations because I want to? Like, why do those things to me? Right. Just because you care. Just you just can. Can. So you can see, Mr. Wizard Howard would not have been satisfied with that response. It's not that complicated. Think about what. Think about what that means. Right? 
That means 10 divided by 2, you can think about a whole bunch of different ways. How many groups of 2 can you get in here, right? Um, what is 10, how, like if I get into two groups, how big will the groups be? And I can go on and on and say different ways of saying this, right? In other words, halve the group. That's what it's telling you to do, okay? So that's why these are equivalent, not just because there's a rule that says you can, right? Multiplication and division are trying to interact with each other in this way. So now we've converted it into a product rather than a quotient, because quotients are gross. We've cancelled a whole bunch of things. What's left? To the numerator of the three. It's just the two. And the three and everything else is gone. And 